everybody, Joe and Sean here with Revival Brothers. We're here today to show you how to use the finance tool within IPA. Currently, we have loaded a note, and this note is showing some positive uh, capabilities in, in, in terms of earning some money. Um, but at the same time, we have a very large renovation cost on it. So we have some expenses as we move from flipping the note to the foreclosure to rental to wholesale to fix and flip. As we move up the scale, it's going to cost more and more money. We've included this finance feature to do one of two things, to either bring in an investor from the very beginning or at some point in the middle of, of the project or a lender and to finance this out through a lender, maybe a hard money lender or um, standard financing uh, at a specific rate with points and, and all that fun stuff. So what, what I'll do is I'll start off with talking about um, how we can bring an investor in and, and what that looks like. So click on the investor and you, and you specify the amount that you want the investor to invest in your project with. So in this case, let's just say we've spent $20,000 as far as our offer and we have $80,000 in our um, renovation costs. And if we come down and we wanted to really look at our full-blown uh, costs, we're looking at $112,000. So, you know, in some cases, uh, it's nice for us to have some skin in the game and bring the capital investors in and manage the project. So we might say, okay, we need $100,000 for this and we'll finance out the rest of 12,583. 12, so let's say we want $100,000 from our investor. And now, once we have that, we see here it says finance start date is one month, it's month one. So basically this means that, you know, from the time that you buy this to the end of the project, uh, this amount of money is invested. And, and now we have to decide whether or not that's going to be an equity split, a fixed return or an annual return. If it's an equity split, we click on equity split and then we can say, specify the percentage that we're going to give to our investor. A lot of times it's standard to do 50-50. I'm going to go ahead and do 50%. And as I do 50%, you can see <clears throat> the investor payout is at 41.830. And our adjusted net profit is at 41.830. That's a 50-50. Our annual return has gone from 55% down to 28, which is completely acceptable. Now, if I wanted to add a fixed return, uh, I can do that meaning let's say that we're only going to pay out uh, throughout the, the entire term of this project, um, let's say 12%. Uh, what does 12% look like over that term? Well, it's a $12,000 nut. So, um, you know, you can you can start to play with these numbers and look at how it affects you as, as the uh, overall investor in bringing your investors in and taking care of them, making sure that they get a decent return as well. Now let's say, you know what, I don't need to have somebody come in from day one. I can afford the 20000 offer price myself and, and carry the project all the way until I need to do the, the fix and flip. All I need is the 80000 I can change this to 80000 and rather than starting from day one, which is indicated here, the, the finance start date needs to be somewhere around month eight or wherever uh, the, the construction is going to start. So what we need to do from here is we need to click on annual return and the annual return will have a percentage that comes up. So what are we going to give our investor as an annual return on a per month payout? We're not going to pay them per month. We're going to pay them the end of the project, but it's going to calculate on a monthly basis. So we're going to say, we're going to go ahead and give them 12% and and right now it's saying it's going to start on month one. We probably want to change that to something like month eight when the actual construction starts. So the way we change that is we come down to here and we click short term and it's already set to month eight. So we'll just keep it on month eight. And when we come back up here, it'll say month eight is when the financing starts and it'll adjust the investor payout accordingly. So here you can see the investor payout at 80,000 coming in on month eight is 58.55. Our payout for the entire project is 77.805. 
So that's how you can kind of play with this uh, calculator a little bit. Now, if I wanted to go for straight lending, I can click on the, the lender button and I can put a rate in whatever the rate the lender is offering something at. Um, a lot of times it's anywhere from eight to 12%. I'm gonna go ahead and somewhere in the middle 10. Uh, it, is it an interest only uh, payment? If it is, I can select that. Uh, are there points? If there are, I can put the points in here. Um, maybe like uh, two points, Sean? Yeah, two points is about average. Uh, and if there's a flat fee, I can also select this and put a flat fee in. So either the points or the flat fee can be added at, at any time. I'm gonna go ahead and have points here and I'm gonna keep it at two points. And as I change all this, everything changes dynamically. So I wanted to take a loan out of $80,000. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and select full term. Because in most cases, uh, when you're doing traditional financing, it's, it's gonna be, what, a term of 12 to 16 months. So now I have $80,000, I'm gonna start on month one and I'm going to use it for the over the, the course of the entire project. Uh, what does that mean for, for my annual ROI? Well, I can see that it, it's at 112% now. My net profit's at 72.59. My annual ROI goes up because I'm using less of my own money, uh, which is a, a good thing. As long as, um, and, and, the, and the entire system also calculates for you what the, you know your monthly payment would be, how much you're going to pay out on a monthly uh, basis to your lender and it calculates all that into this as well. So if you start to see anything coming towards a negative, obviously it's it might not be the right move for you. Now, if you wanted to test this out, let's say, uh, let's toggle between what we have now and what it looks like without the financing. Without the financing, I'm at an ROI of 55% and a net profit of 80, 83,000. With the financing, I go back to my lender. Um, I come back to my rate, which was 10%, interest only, and two, two points. You can see that I went from, uh, I'm down from uh, 83,000 to 72, and, um, but my, my annual ROI went up. So you can start to play with the numbers and understand what it really means to your true bottom line using this finance tool. Hopefully this was helpful. Sean, did you want to add anything? Yeah, so for the financing tool, typically uh, for uh, lender financing, it's gonna be more or less used, or if you're taking back a project that you end up foreclosing on and you, you know you can't wholesale it out, you're gonna end up doing a fix and flip, um, and you're probably gonna need to get some type of construction loan. That's typically when you're gonna end up be using the lender financing, or if you are uh, purchasing an REO. Uh, so if you're purchasing an REO, you basically go up here, you would select uh, the REO, and then you'll be able to change everything. For investor, uh, it is going to be typically used for uh, when you're purchasing notes. Uh, so, also uh, to kind of go over the, the options here, again, the equity split is basically splitting it between you and the investor. So, you're the project manager and you're basically putting here what the investor will receive on the equity split. So if you do 60-40, all that means is that 40% will be going to the investor and 60% would be going to the project manager, which would be you. So fixed return is basically, you're basically gonna be giving them a return for the entire project uh, term. So whatever it is, 8%, 12%, if the term is for two years, that's what your investor is gonna receive. And then for the annual return percentage per year, that's just basically based off the term of the project. So if your project term is gonna be eight months, then you're going to receive eight months of interest payments. If uh, the project is two years, then you're gonna receive an annual return of 12% for two years. So just wanted to reiterate some of the options you do have. Also, there is a tool tip, so you can show the tool tip there that explains everything we just went over. And uh, if you have additional questions, feel free to email us at support at realbrothers.com. I think that's it.